this is my new rental for the rest of the week. Way more happy on this thing. Uh, this is like my style. The Wrangler, it was kind of interesting for a bit, but they didn't have anything like I wanted. And uh, this is this is going to do it for me. It's got a little bit of an aftermarket wheel and tire set up on it. And it uh, looks like we know what we're doing now. So uh, we got some banners and a few other things that need to go out there. And uh, we're doing it right. This is how you head to King of the Hammers. Uh, so we're a little bit late getting out there, uh, but we will get some more content out at the races and hopefully uh, ride along in some buggies and trucks and see what we can do. So we've got a couple different versions of uh, Broncos out here. This one's pretty crazy, totally custom. You can see the rear end here is wild. Look at this thing. Look at that axle. Like, I can't believe it, but they do break these things sometimes. I really don't know how. And uh, this one's also on independent front suspension. Massive. Everything. Here's uh, independent versus solid axle. Uh, I'd like to hear in, your, in the comments uh, which one y'all think is better out here. Uh, I've got my own opinion. Um, this just seems more expensive. Independent. Uh, this is a little bit more old school. So it doesn't ride quite as good. And uh, you're not going to maybe be quite as fast on the solid axle. But... Uh, you'll see sometimes you got people winning on solid axle still and it just depends on the exact course the way they lay it out out here in Hammertown uh, pretty close to the uh, stages and main area and uh, there's a Bronco up there on a rotisserie spinning around so that's pretty sweet I got my little Tacoma over there next to that F-250 and uh, there's a bunch of side-by-sides around me and uh, this sweet uh, Tundra here has got a really solid long travel kit on it King shocks and bump stops and uh, it's got a coilover and a you know bypass and external reservoir crazy uh, shock setup so this thing looks like it could really uh, handle some jumps pretty well and uh, desert media I think I've seen some of their stuff but they're parked right in front of my little RV uh, so this is where I'm at this is home for the rest of the week pretty stoked uh, to not have to have figured any of that out it's pretty convenient let me hop in here where it's quieter all right so here's a little tour of Mikasa it is Nice little setup here. Let me turn some lights on in here. And yeah, I'm pretty stoked. Uh, I didn't have to figure any of this out. I was concerned I was going to have to make my own arrangements, but uh, they have this for me and I really can't complain. This is sweet. I got a fridge, just a little stove, microwave, a uh, little bathroom and everything. Uh, I haven't really done much RV uh, camping or anything, so it's cool to figure it all out. Last night I had to turn on the gas and uh, figure out how to get the pilot lit for the, the gas heater. And uh, now I have the hot water heater on so I can take a shower here in a bit. Uh, and then I'm going to go find the guys and uh, get something to eat. So I'll keep you posted. It should be sweet. So my first shower was kind of a fail. I didn't let the hot water heater run for long enough, maybe 20 minutes or so. And then I used like mostly hot water in the shower and it lasted for like two minutes. And then I was all soapy and got all cold and everything. But at least I had the heat on in the RV so it was pretty warm in here. I've got those both turned off now so I don't use all the propane. Uh, but what I'm hoping is a win is uh, this burrito from, uh, what's it called, Miguel's Jr. Um, I got one last night for dinner, and uh, Chris from Nitto recommended that I um, get a second one to bring and eat later. So this one's a uh, bean, rice, and cheese, uh, BRC they call it, and I figured that way it wouldn't um, go bad as quick sitting in the back seat of the car. Also, I've got a pretty sweet view of uh, the mountains and... Um, a couple of buggies and a porta potty. Uh, really not too bad though. Pretty excited. And uh, I'm going to enjoy this burrito and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's good. Um, I also don't know the food situation here because it's supposed to be like a wristband thing that I get, which I don't have yet. These are um, basically like general admission, but for partner, so I can get in certain places. And uh, this shows that I'm with uh, one of the vendors. So I'm with Nitto. So I got those two and then I'm going to need one more to eat. So. This should keep me alive for uh, the foreseeable future, and we'll see see what happens there. Uh, I haven't had a BRC. I'm gonna add some other hot sauce to it. 
So this should be cool. It's kind of stuck to my plate. I need. A, I might need a fork for this one. We're gonna send it. Oh, it's going everywhere. Their hot sauce is uh, pretty mild, but uh, tasty. Super uh, flavorful. Oh, so soft. Oh yeah, breakfast of champions right there. Yeah, we're off to a good start, boys. I forgot to mention a couple things. I got a uh, coffee chata, like a horchata drink, pretty solid. And uh, finding the RV last night was exciting. So first off, uh, delivering the tires to uh, one of the racers was, uh, he, I was given a name and a number on the map of like which tent was theirs, but like everybody's stuff looks the same here. And I was kind of driving around looking for who had nittos on their buggies and stuff, trying to figure out where to go. And I ended up having to ask two different tents before I finally found them uh, at 11 o'clock last night. But everybody was out standing around on the fire drinking beer. So that was pretty cool. I got that figured out. And then for the RV to find it at 11 o'clock at night when nobody here has service, really. Um, I had a picture of what this RV looked like and a general area. So I drove around until I found the one that had the right brand name on it and then knocked, made sure nobody was in it. And yeah, it was unlocked. I came in and went to sleep. So that was pretty exciting. Thought that was a cool part of the experience. Uh, between that and a cold shower, I, I'm getting full experience. I just need to go out and drive something, ride in something, uh, do something cool, go watch them climb some mountains real up close. I haven't done any of that yet. So uh, we're getting all this little, you know, logistic stuff figured out, eating, sleeping, you know, surviving, and uh, go have a good time. All right, we're on Ford Bronco Boulevard. I'm gonna go uh, make my way to the Nitto truck and see what's going on over there. And uh, I'll try to take you all along and see what we can see. The uh, Icon booth over here has a cutout of a trail wrapper. That's kind of cool. So, it was not easy to cut. Oh, I bet not. <laughs> yeah, what'd you guys use to cut it? Uh, just a cutoff disc. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, just uh, like a, I think these are some flap sander just to smooth it out. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm sure it was pretty yeah. sharp, you know, yeah, like all the metal. Made yeah. the worst mess and the worst smoke. Here. Wow. It shows off the wheel pretty nice because you can see it. Yeah. How it, um, how totally. it locks in place. Yeah, the bead lock's cool. Nice. Yeah, that's a sweet, sweet idea. Yeah, this is the same size as the set I brought in last night. 237, 1250, 17. Thick boys. These guys have a fire in the back of a fire truck whipping up some wood fire pizzas. That is awesome. That's crazy. We took another fire truck to the bottom of Chocolate Thunder yesterday. Yeah. Is it a pizza truck like yeah. that too? No yeah. way. Yeah. That's crazy. I towed that shit up there with my F-350. That's sick, man. Yeah, I love the idea. It is Man, y'all are is. killing it out here. Yeah, the fire trucks are supposed to put out fires, man, not be on fire. Uh, we're on fire. Yeah, that's sick. Where are you out of? North Carolina. North Carolina. Yeah, nice to meet you, Wisconsin. man. Wisconsin. Pleasure to meet nice, you, son. dude. Yeah, sorry about the camera in your face. Just Don't worry about it. Getting it all in, you know? Yeah, you got to. Nice. That's sick. This what is Dang Brothers for these pizza. pizza. Climax Fab. We teamed up. You said what? Dang Brothers? Dang Brothers Pizza. Dang Brothers Pizza, okay. Climax Fab. Nice. And we teamed up. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah, let's take it. So are y'all all out of Wisconsin, or is it two different places? No, he is from San Diego. Okay, uh, sweet. The owner's right there in the wig. Oh, nice. That's sick. I'll have to go say what's up. He's like straight good ass people, man. Yeah, that's You know good. what I mean? Yeah. Like, I could tell by looking at him. Look at the wig. I mean, that guy's just, got a sense of humor. You see him once a year? Yeah. And it's the best oh, of your man. life. You that's know what nice. I mean? I got to get to know you guys. Y'all yeah. definitely got some yeah, yeah. some creativity over here. We run it out. Yeah. That's sick. It looks so clean. It looks like a factory fire pit. That's so crazy. And then you got a big pizza shaped fire pit or something over here. And then we got a rocket stove. Whipping it up. Oh, wow. I didn't even notice what it was sitting on. This is breakfast. Well, you got one piece of wood in there? How's this thing yeah. even going? Just a couple little pieces of hickory. Dang. This is breakfast for the crew. That's sick, man. Big red fire truck. Oh, it's got Nitto spray painted on the tires, too. I love it. Hell yeah. Dude. That's funny. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm out here with Nitto this year. So I'm pretty stoked. So you Wait, know Chris? Man. Yep, uh, Chris Corbett. Ryan, yeah. We had to find the RVs in the dark and everything, so. I'll tell you what, we it, had a trip on the out. way out here. Boy. Yeah, I can believe it. My guy, my shotgunner for the 2,000 mile trip. Yeah. Flew from Portland, 
never met him except for Facebook. Yeah. Well, and we're like homies on Facebook, right? Nice. I like it. Yeah, I'm, I'm meeting some of these people for the first time. I met Chris before, Ryan, but, uh, you know, other than that, I'm, I thought I was going to be staying in an RV with somebody. I don't know, but luckily I got my own little one. There so you that's go. That's cool. I've been uh, comfortable last night, there this you go. morning, so I'm going to go see. I don't even Are they feeding you? Uh, I don't know yet. They're supposed to be. We got I plenty of food. It out. <laughs> yeah, that's what we do here. There's supposed to be a deal with Ford and a wristband thing, but I haven't seen it yet. I haven't ran into it. Oh, those you got to talk to Courtney. Okay. Talk to Courtney and get your wristband. All right. They'll sweet. let you in anyway. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. I appreciate it. Right, I'll brother. see you all around. I love the idea. And the guys at BDS on um, Recon Grapplers over here. I uh, got some of their stuff on display with Fox. Uh, this is. Looks like a 2500 HD coilover conversion. That is beefy. Look at that. Holy cow. Looks like new knuckles and everything. All right, let's see what's happening at the Nitto truck. We're mounting up some top side by side tires. I got some competition. I didn't know somebody else was filming. I just got invited to go for a ride in this Jeep, so we're going to go uh, see what we can see. This thing is wicked. King shots. Looks like it's on 38s. Yeah, all right. Let's do it. All right, we're out here at the. Uh, what part of the trail is this? You know? All right, we're well, going over the King Thunder. All right, sweet. We got another uh, pizza fire truck over here. A lot about the King of the Hammers rookie class wow. and all the benefits that crazy. had for these racers. All right, we are at Chocolate Thunder for the Everyman Challenge. Uh, we got a nice dusty spot up here. I'm out of breath from hiking up this hill. And uh, we've got all kinds of sweet rigs coming up here. This is why I'm here. I'm excited to see this. And uh, we've got a couple guys get stuck right in front of us. Pretty good view. Look at the 42, 1350, 20, big old tire. That's the uh, same ones I have on my project truck right now, uh, which looks totally different because it's turned into a go-kart. But, and uh, for comparison, there's a 40, 1350, 17 with that extra side lug that I love so much. Sweet rig, and then uh, we got 38s on the Jeep we're in, so all kinds of stuff. There's some Ridge Grapplers right here. We're in Nitto country. And here's a look at the 38s versus uh, the 40s. You can see the, the sidewall difference here. And uh, obviously this is a two-door one. With oh wow, he's got air hooked up so he can air up and down while he's running. That's crazy. And uh, this looks like it's the sticky compound that's real soft. You see how they get chewed up by the rocks. It's pretty wild. And this is a diesel Jeep, by the way, which is rad. way to do it we got some uh some king shocks and ac we're cruising we're not even getting dust in our teeth this is luxury living right here and uh, we've got this rad chick kelly this is her jeep and uh she drives it like a boss this thing is awesome and uh your husband's got one just like it right is it pretty similar yeah, yeah both diesels uh they both on 38s yeah nice This is, this is living right here. I'm having a great time. All right, we are dropping off the mounted tires that I brought in last night. Uh, they ended up not needing them as early as I thought, so uh, better cautious than uh, to not have them. So got them mounted up. Uh, it's like midday out here. Uh, they qualified at noon, I think. Uh, so we got a bunch of 37s back here. And uh, I'm gonna give you all a little tour as we roll through here. Uh, we got diverted the long way around because uh, they closed the gate, so check it all out. A cool old C10 over there. Yeah, so these are actually more of the same tires. So they do have the tires I sent them over at their tent. This is uh, just from the same shipment, actually. So these haven't been mounted yet. I was confused on that, but uh, more tires going to the same people that I dropped them off to last night.
love that camper up there. Let's sit. GoPro! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I love it. I, I, yeah, I keep going farther down. Bunch of netter guys over here though. Stein. Oh, I want that Ford camper right there. That's a good slick. Yeah, check out the Nitto Ranger. Even though it's not on Nittos, but it's loaded down. That's a big Kawasaki right there. But yeah, this is where I was uh, last night, like 11:30, dropping off a set of five. Uh, here's another set of five. Uh, going to these guys that are in a tent back here. Uh, they're kind of wedged up in the middle, so it's hard to hard to find them. But uh, I think we're in the right spot. Yeah, see, that's behind the scenes. You got poop trucks out here. And it smells what you expect. Here's a little look in the uh, Nitto trailer. I think I showed y'all yesterday the other day uh, when I was out here that we're right on part of the course here, which is pretty sick. And uh, they've got uh, this electric cooler full of drinks and everything they said I could help myself to. That's pretty sick. Got root beer, monsters, and a bunch of water. And uh, we also got this little lounge area up here with internet. So that's dope. I'm gonna share some stuff in my story. We got pizza, looks like some uh, cinnamon buns, all kinds of junk food in here. This is crazy. This is the full experience. So uh, we're gonna figure out the actual um, food pass thing because they're gonna have hot food uh, for like three meals a day available. Um, so I have to talk to somebody and get a wristband for that. Sevens. I think coming by to swap some tires out. These things are crazy. That's wild seeing the tread depth is like staying the same, but they're getting chopped up out here with the soft compound and all the rocks. Just got this pizza hand delivered from the owner. Got a barbecue pizza from the fire truck. Uh, this is the man right here. Appreciate the delivery, man. Sorry, I was getting it on video. I appreciate the delivery, dude. That's awesome. Here, you want him to hand them to me again? No, that's all good. No, I... You gotta get, make sure she's in the video. Yeah, no, keeping it real. Keeping it real. Yeah, she's already in part of it. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's called service right there. Chivalry isn't dead. Yes, nice, dude. Yeah, love it, man. All right, it looks like the plan now is uh, to deliver some more tires and uh, also drop off another one of the uh, photo shoot rigs. So uh, we're gonna be doing some more driving and nothing too exciting. So I will get back to y'all as soon as something cool happens. Uh, for probably the 10th time in this video, I'll say how much I love the sidewall on this freaking tire. 40, 13, 50, 17. This has the gnarliest sidewall and I just can't get enough of these. You never see them on the East Coast except maybe on a couple really gnarly Jeeps. Uh, but this is just a really sweet setup. Uh, they look the same whether it's the race compound sticky or the, uh, the street version. Um, but these are just incredible looking tires. And I gotta get myself some.